Hello, welcome to episode 385. We're going to be doing some item racing and item frogs, and I apologise in advance because this is just stupid. I'm not sure what you'd use this for. But the only use I can think of is the item racing is for determining who's going to do something or picking a winner at random. It's a good randomizer. Anyway, let's turn this one on. This is item frogs, and basically if we have three items on the floor, they're just going to jump around like little frogs. That's what they do. That blue one's really going for it. Oh, the green one's off as well now. So that, so that's um, yeah. So that's item frogs. Um, that one, you have to be in one point twenty point two for that at least, because you need. That's when the random command was added, and I'm using the random command to pick a direction to bounce them. Um, this one here, you could probably do in well, pretty early versions, I should imagine. This one is racing. So let's say you can't decide who's going to do something. You say, well. Okay, I'll be red, uh, you guys can be green, and we both lose if blue wins. And we have a we have a finishing line. Who's who can get into the, the hole first? And go, who's gonna win? So I've forgotten who I was. I was red. Oh I'm doing well. You you guys are green. I think you guys have just won. Oh no, you're off. Bye bye. I'm catching up. Oh i hey, I'm in the hole. I didn't expect that. <laughs> oh I'm trying to get out, I'm stuck. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Okay, come back out, you. There we go. Item racing. A nice way to select a person at random. Like like drawing a straw, I suppose. I apologise for how absolutely stupid this is. Um, I, if you can find any cool uses for it, let me know. Anyway, it's just a quickie. Let's get on and build it now. Okay, for one of these we're going to need a scoreboard objective, so we'll make that now. Set up. Okay, put the button on, scoreboard objectives, add, and I'm just going to store a random value in there, so I'm just going to put value. <laughs> no, we're not. There we go, value. Dummy. Okay, let's make these controllers. We're going to have two controllers. This one we will call controller random makes sense to me. Random. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to... How often do I want this to run? I don't want it to run 20 times a second, so let's use that value as a timer as well. So let's do scoreboard players add, and we'll have a fake player and call them timer value 1. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll execute if score dot type well, hello dot timer value matches uh what should we go? Let's go for the twenty one. Twenty one or higher. And I'm gonna copy all of that. Copy. We'll use it again. Uh, we will store success as a score uh, dot timer value. So basically, we're going to store a one into timer. So that's going to reset it effectively. And we'll also store a result as a score into the fake player random into their value run random value uh, 0 to 3. So that's going to give us 4. 0, 1, 2, and 3. So it gives us four different choices. Okay. Uh, let's turn that on and let's see what it's doing. Scoreboard, objective, set display, sidebar, nothing because we haven't initialized our value objective. There we go. Ah, so we got Time is ticking up, and every time it hits 21, it resets to 1, and we're getting a different random value. Cool. Okay, that seems to be working. Let's take that off the sidebar. We don't need to see it. Let's paste in the bit we saved. Execute if score time and value matches 21. Well, we're going to change that. We'll change that to 1. Okay, so that way, if we ever do come here and change this score, here, let's say we want it to happen every two ticks, that two seconds, three seconds, four seconds, we only have to change that one. And this command will run when it gets back to one. So that'll save us changing stuff in the future. 
Uh, well, we're going to add some extra stuff. We're just going to say V equals one. Only one. Not one or higher. Just one. And we'll say if score dot random value matches, let's say zero, run data um, mod, no, data merge will do. Data merge into an entity. I'm going to say any item. Now you could you could tag the item. So you could have type equals item, and you could put a tag in there if you only wanted it to go to custom ones. I'm going to say any item. Limit equals one. Sort equals random. And I'm going to put some motion. Motion, um, which is a list. And let's just do default for the moment. 0 0.0, 0 0.0, 0 0.0, 0 0.0. Right, I definitely want it to jump up a little bit, so let's try corner of a block. And for this one, we'll go a little bit in the positive x direction. Okay. Done. Now I'm just going to control middle mouse and copy that whole block. And I'm just going to go to the beginning. If random value matches 1. Um, this time we will... Oh, we'll do negative in the x direction. There we go, that'll do. I'm done. And I'm going to put another one down. And go to the beginning. If it matches 2, then we won't do anything on x. We'll move to z instead. We'll put a 1 in z. I'm going to control middle mouse, copy that block. And if it equals 3, then we'll go in the negative z. Okay, done. Let's uh, get rid of them. Let's get some blocks. Now we're not tagging blocks, so any blocks will do, or any item. Uh, bump, bump, bump. <laughs> okay, there we go. I, I don't even know why I'm showing you. It's so silly. We could speed it up if we wanted. If you only have one item, it's, it's always going to be the same item that bounces. Okay, so then they are just bouncing around randomly. Completely pointless, but I thought it was funny. And after that, I thought, well, actually, you could at least make something with it. So what we could do, and this is not useful either, by the way. Uh, we can have a race. Let's get one and put that on top. So what we can do, this is my, we don't even need the scoreboard for this. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy that command there. Scoreboard values add time value one. Now we better make it repeating. And then I'm going to execute. Let's speed it up a little bit. Execute if score timer value. Um, let's try about 15. 15 or higher. Oh. Better say matches 15 or higher, then we will store success as a score dot timer value. So we're going to reset that to one. Run data merge any entity, uh, any entity whose type equals item so here again you could have a tag you could say tag equals racing block or racing item or something i'm just going to do it for any item limit equals one sort equals random and we're going to pick a direction so this is basically exactly the same but we're not doing random uh let's go in positive z because i know which direction it is what did we have here half quarter of a block and not point one Okay, done. So you turn it off, and then the players come along. So let's say one player is green, one player is red, one player is blue. They throw all their items down. Hey, come back, come back, come back, come back blue. Now, when I was making this, I, and I went off to make something else, I left this on. And every time I dropped an item, they ran away. It confused me for a second. Okay, so the players put their items down into the starting pit. And then start the race. Who's going to win? So it's a bit like gambling, I suppose. 
So green's definitely in the... Oh my god, green's taking a huge lead. Red, you're in trouble. Where's green go? Look at that green... Oh no, look at that S car go. I was going to say green car go. There we go. I don't know why I'm still waffling on it yet. It's completely pointless. It's completely stupid. But it made me chuckle when I found, when I when I made it, and I thought I'd share it with you. There we go. Just a nice little quick one today. I got some longer ones coming up soon, so I thought we'd have a a little quick one. Right. See you soon. Take care. Bye bye.